started learning this new game called Pickleball. <laughs> Actually, Pickleball is not a game that has anything to do with pickles. It's a super fun game with a ball, a net, and these paddles. I'm usually really good at new games, but I didn't do that well at Pickleball. So when it came time to pick partners to play, I wasn't anyone's first choice. That made me very sad. When I got home, I tried to do everything I could think of to make myself better at pickleball. I ate pickles. Hey! I even drank pickle juice. <laughs> Nothing seemed to help. I told my dad about what happened, and I thought he would give me some tips on how to be a better pickleball player. But want to know what he said? He said, Kelly, you might learn something from this, and it has nothing to do with pickleball. I was like, what? What I need to learn right now is how to play pickleball better. Learning anything else is the opposite of what I need. But then again, pickleball ended up being the opposite of this. Quick, turn in the pickle! Maybe our Bible story will help us understand what my dad was talking about. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Luke, chapter 6. People were coming from all over to see Jesus because Jesus was saying things that no one had ever heard before and he was doing things that no one had ever seen before. People who were really sick came to Jesus and he would make them feel all better. It was amazing. Most of the people who came to see Jesus were experiencing struggles. That means they were going through hard things in life, things that made them worried, sad, or angry. These people probably thought they just had bad luck or that God didn't care about them. But Jesus told them that the opposite was true. He told them that they were blessed. Most people think being blessed means having a lot of good things and having good things happen to you. So for all the people who had struggles, this was the opposite of what they felt. They didn't feel blessed at all. But Jesus said they were blessed because their struggles had brought them close to him. Because things were tough, they looked for Jesus, and Jesus had the answer to all their problems. They got to meet with Jesus, talk to Jesus, and get to know Jesus. And that is what being blessed really means. It's not fun to go through struggles or hard times, but when we do, we can remember that sometimes it can be a good thing. Because... Our struggles bring us closer to Jesus. Hey friends, so I learned something fun. Sometimes when you're in a tough situation or a struggle, it can be called a pickle. Hi. All those people were in a pickle, but when they came to Jesus, their problems went away. And speaking of pickles, you're probably wondering what happened with my pickleball pickle. Well, I was really struggling with it. I practiced and practiced, but still felt like I wasn't getting any better. So I couldn't sleep last night. I decided to talk to Jesus about it. I told Jesus that I felt bad that no one wanted me to be their pickleball partner. I told Jesus that I felt bad about not being that great at pickleball. I told Jesus that I felt nervous about what would happen today. Then I was able to sleep. I woke up this morning and actually felt a lot better. I told myself I would try my best no matter what. We played pickleball today at school. And you know what? I was a little better. My classmates all told me they wanted me on their team next time. And that made me really happy. I realized my dad was right when he said I could learn something from this pickleball pickle. And that had nothing to do with the game. What made me feel better was being able to come to Jesus with my struggle. Just like how the people in the Bible story came to Jesus with their struggles. It seems opposite to think that something good could come out from hard things we go through. But it's true! Because just like our big idea says, our struggles bring us closer to Jesus. Thanks for learning and growing with me, Pickles. Hey. Oops, I mean friends! <laughs>